Hey everyone, my name is Holly. If you're watching this, you probably already know who I am, so no introduction is necessary. But I did want to just give a little intro as to why I'm recording this video and why I will be recording some other videos to follow suit. Um, first and foremost, I started watching beauty YouTubers, beauty gurus, makeup artists, etc. on um, YouTube about a year ago. And um, I've really enjoyed all of the information that I've gotten and not only that, I feel like my makeup game has stepped up a lot. Um, pardon my hair and makeup today. I mean, this was just something I did quickly playing around as far as the makeup look. And my hair has had nothing done to it today. But um, basically, I learned pretty much everything outside of just some little basic information through watching YouTubers in the last year. And over the last month or two, I've gotten a lot of compliments on my makeup and even several people asking me to teach them how to do different makeup applications and things. And I would love to sit down in my bathroom and show everyone the little things that I've learned, but um, that's kind of hard to do. So I thought maybe if I do some little instructional videos or, um, you know, product reviews and things like that, I could pass on the information that I've learned to you all. Um, and because when I first started doing this, trial and error was my way of figuring it out. You know, a YouTuber would say, this product is great, then I would go and spend money on it and get it home and really not like it. Whether it be they were paid to say that, sponsored by the brand or whatever to make the video, I just really felt like it didn't work for me. And maybe it's just because they have different skin types and they're into different things, um, but it just really didn't work for me. So maybe if I share my information, you'll have a little less error than I had um, and it'll be more successes. So um, without going on any more about that, I also wanna say that in doing makeup and learning more about it and the whole learning process and just sitting down in front of my mirror by myself, maybe with some music playing in the background or something, it's been a very therapeutic process. It's just like all of the rest of the world is shut out and I can just focus on what I'm doing and really um, just do something to help myself. And I've really, really, really enjoyed that aspect of it. So it's just for fun, it's a hobby. I enjoy it and I enjoy learning about different techniques and products and it's just really been a blast. And maybe you can have some fun with it too. But more than anything, I think we're gonna learn together because um, I'm still learning. I am not at all an expert in any way, shape or form. Um, if you hate the way I do my makeup, you don't have to watch this. If you are not into makeup, again, you don't have to watch this. But if you think that maybe um, you would just like to learn some about some different products or some different application techniques, then keep on watching because you could have some fun. Or if you're just sitting at home bored and have nothing else to do, maybe this will pass some time as well. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump into what this video is about. I'm going to make a lot of different videos um, I'm going to make one about just face makeup application. I'm going to do one about just eyeshadow application and different blending techniques and, and what to put on the lid, what to put in the outer corners, um, how to apply false eyelashes, what mascaras work the best for me, um, just some different things like that. But this first video is going to be about liquid lipsticks. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because Last night I was at Walgreens and last week I was at Walgreens and they're having some of their Christmas gift sets that they're trying to get rid of on sale. Last week they were 50% off, last night they were 70% off. So I wanted to go ahead and do this really quickly for you so you can kind of see what I've liked and what I got and maybe you can run out and get them on sale as well because the money I paid for them, it was ridiculous what a good deal it was. So I'm just gonna talk about some of those, then talk about some high-end liquid lipsticks that I've tried also, and then that way you can kind of judge whether it's something you would wanna go out and get or not. But I'm gonna do some swatches of different colors and we're just gonna get right into it. So. The first set that I got was last week, 50% off, so it was regular $15. I paid $7.50 for it, and I got three lip liners and three liquid lips, and I was super excited about this because this brand um, has really just stepped it up big time in their formulas on pretty much all of their products, and I'd heard so many good things about this 
um, particular portion of the Wet n Wild line, and it was the Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lipsticks. And um, I've just heard tons of great things, and I've tried this out since last week, and I am so, so happy with the way that they work. Um, again, I paid $7.50 for this set. Now, at 70% off, they did not have this set anymore. It was all sold out, so you might not be able to find it in a set, and if not, I hate that for you. However, they're still very affordable liquid lips, so um, it'd be worth picking some up. But the what I got in this um, set, this is the Liquid Cat Suit, like I said. Um, these are really nice products. I don't know if you could see what it says on there. This comes with 0.21 ounces of product. Um, which is pretty standard for a lot of liquid lips. And then it also came with these, which I've got powder all over these, so you're going to have to excuse that. But it came with these um, Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liners, three different colors that correspond with um, the liquid lip shades. Uh, $7.50 for three liners and three liquid lips that really do work was an awesome, awesome deal. So just stop in at your Walgreens. What I do a lot when I go to Walgreens is if I'm just going in to get whatever, I will stop by the makeup section and look at their sale rack because oftentimes you'll find something really good. And not only that, almost all the time on all of their products, they offer buy one, get one 50% off. So that's a pretty good deal as well. But um, I'm going to swatch the liquid lips and swatch these liners for you to let you know kind of what's going on with them. Um, the liners are not transfer proof. So I notice if I put the liner on and then I put the liquid lip on, let it dry down, and then I like give my son a kiss on the cheek. He, I can see the outline of the liner, but not the lip itself. So, um, just something to kind of take note of. But these liners are so creamy and buttery smooth. They go on so nicely, and they have a thicker tip. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Here. There we go. Um, most liners come with a very thin tip. So, this is nice because you're not, like, uh, uh, applying product all day long trying to get your liner on. Um, but I'm just going to swatch these uh, three... This one is the red one, and it is called Red the Scene. That's cute. Um, then the next one is the next shade down, and it is called Gone Burgundy. I don't find that this is really burgundy, but um, it's a nice lip liner to put with, like, maybe a lighter nude lip that you may have and you want to darken it up just a little bit this one's nice for that and then the last one is a nude liner it's called bear to comment b-a-r-e to comment um and it's pretty nice also um it is an excellent nude lip liner so those three are the liners that the gift set came with and then the lips i'm just going to swatch the lips right under them and with the corresponding colors this one is called missy and fierce it is a true red and it's opaque and i really like it so i'm just going to swatch it really fast i'm not the best in the world at swatching so but you can see that is a true red and it goes really well with the red lip liner the next one is I don't know that I will be using this that much. However, I will say that these colors, I think this might be kind of the color of 2017 because I've gotten um, a few sets and a few different um, liquid lips and um, they all seem to kind of come with this shade, but this is like a whiny color shade. This one is called Video Vixen and um, I think that this is going to be worn by a lot of people in 2018. That's just a guess of mine. But um, it's very much a wine color. I'm trying to do it without getting, get a good swatch that shows really kind of how nice it is. So there's that one. This one's more on the browner side of a wine color. And then the last one is the one I think I'm going to get the most wear out of. It is um, a nude, but it's kind of a little bit darker of a nude. I've had nudes that just make your lips disappear when you put them on, and I don't really like those. Um, 
if you have deeper skin tones, those nudes will work probably on you, but I'm more of like a medium skin tone, and so it just washes my lips out and makes it look like I don't have any lips at all. But um, this is called, I think, Rebel Rose. This is a really nice shade. Really nice. If you just want to kind of do a more toned down lip because you might have a lot going on on the eyes or whatnot. Um, this is really, really, really pretty. And then um, I purchased individually, and I think this was like $5 maximum, um, this shade. And it's kind of a coral color. It's called Coral Corruption. Then it's a coral color. And um, this is nice for just certain outfits. Uh, this is not an everyday lip for me, but it looks really good with like a, maybe a navy blue shirt or like a maybe even a black shirt you could roll with it. Um, but this is just going to be one that's going to be more for particular outfits. But this is such a pretty, pretty peachy coral color, and I really like it. What I will say about these is they are super long wearing. Um, I, I've worn them for like, 10 hours at a time working and things like that and I've only had to retouch the inner portion of my lip from licking that more it stays more moist throughout the day um, or if you eat something oily you might have to like something greasy you might have to retouch because that's that oil in greasy foods breaks down liquid lipsticks really quickly um, so you might have to retouch but really I just usually have to retouch in my inner rim and when retouching a liquid lipstick, one thing that I've learned is that you need to only retouch the places that need to be retouched. If you go over the whole lip, this outer rim that tends to stick around longer will start to get like caked up and thick and then it's going to start to peel off. So you don't want to retouch the whole lip, just the outer part. Okay. But these are awesome. I can't say enough good things about these liquid lips. This is something I would repurchase again and again. Like this um, more nudie color that I see myself getting the most wear out of. I'll probably have to buy this again. And I will. Extremely affordable. Extremely long wearing. It doesn't feel super dry on the lips. I highly recommend it. And one thing I will say is if you're wearing a liquid lip that does tend to dry down, put a lip balm on before you put the lipstick on. Um, I just use chapstick. This one's in sugar cookie. It smells amazing. Um, but this will keep it from getting super dry and feeling super dry on your lips. Um, just a little tip that I learned. Okay, so moving on to the next brand. This I got a heck of a steal on. Um, these were regularly, regularly $10 for the gift set. I paid $3 and it's four liquid lips. This is by the makeup brand called Sleek. When I first saw this in Walgreens, I kind of shied away from it because I was like, maybe it's just a junk brand that they're selling at Walgreens. It's not really going to be something that I'm going to love. However, um, I watched a few more videos, just YouTube videos, um, with some people that are outside of the U.S., like Europeans, um, even some Australians. And I saw them talking about this product, and I was like, okay, so maybe it's just not that popular here in the U.S. yet. And... Then when I bought this, I looked and their headquarters are in London and they're produced in China. And so that would explain kind of why you don't hear as much about it in the U.S. yet. But if it proves to be um, a reliable product and a reliable brand, then you'll probably start hearing a lot more about it, especially now that they're carrying it in Walgreens. Um, these are the from the Major Matte uh, collection within their line. And two of these are regular mattes. And this comes with 0.10 fluid ounces per tube. Um, and then there's the major matte metallics. So these are matte lipsticks that are going to be metallic. One is more of like a goldy rose gold. One is more of a rosy rose gold. I will say that in trying these out last night, I put two of the, the two metallic ones over top of the more wine colored um the more wine colored matte one and so some of that rubbed off on my um wands of these metallic ones and so they're not as true to color as they were when i first tried them that was a little disappointing but i'm just going to swatch these really quick for you um this one is called h-a-p-p-y happy spelled out this is the first of the mattes i will probably get the most wear out of it it's very similar to the more nudie matte in the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit collection. Um, 
see these two are very similar. And then this one is called Vino Tinto, so wine tint. It's a little more of that wine shade, and it is similar also to the wine shade that I got in the Wet n Wild. That's why I think that this is kind of going to be all the rage because more of these nudes were all the rage last year. And so they're all coming with a nude, but then they're all coming with this more whiny shade. And you can see these two are very similar. This one picks up more of like a purpley red. This one is more of like a brown, but they're almost the same shade. And then the um, tinted ones, this one is rusted rose. It's supposed to be more of like a, the rose gold shimmer that will dry down to a matte. It's very pretty. And then this one is supposed to be more of the gold metallic, but again, like I said, I mixed some of that wine shade in it. And so these two are looking very similar now. But you can see that one picks up a little more gold and that one picks up a little more pink. So they're both rose golds, just opposite ends of the spectrum. I really like these. One thing I'll say about them is they are almost like a lip stain. They get very dry very fast. It's just like you're staining your lip, but you don't feel like there's a lot of product on them. I would not layer them up. I told you I put the metallic on top of the matte last night and I'm, I'm not a fan of that. It felt super, super, super dry. So... Just something that I went through, but, you know, you may not have the same problem if you try it out. Um, another drugstore liquid lip that I tried was the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Cream. This comes with 0.11 ounces, and um, this is really nice. It's long wearing. I think I paid $3 for it, and um, it's just good. It, I had to just reapply a little bit in that inner portion of my lip stereotypical or I guess standard not stereotypical I guess that's standard for a liquid lip um, at least all of them that I've tried but it is really really nice but it's um, more on like the brown end of the nude spectrum this one is called cinnamon toast it's a really nice color I like it a lot and um, it's excellent all of these are transfer proof from what I can tell. So when you do the kiss test, you're not going to have anything come off your lips onto whatever you're kissing. So, or whoever. Um, so that's a good thing about these products as well. The liners, like I said, are not, but the liquid lips themselves are. I'm going to let them dry down and then I'm going to kind of rub my finger over them to show you all what's up with that. Um, here's another drugstore liquid lip that I really, really, really like. This is the NYX Lingerie Collection. This is probably the third or fourth one I've bought. I've used all of the other ones up. This is, I think, more like $7 or $8, though, so it's a little more expensive than the Wet n Wild and the Jordana when they all kind of work basically the same. But um, this one is still good. This is buildable, so it seems very light, but if you put a second layer on, it will darken up a lot. But this is still, it's not too light of a nude for me. So I like it a lot. And that is going to be this one right here. So you see, you know, we've got a lot of different nudes, but they're all over the um, nude spectrum. Okay, so I want to talk about, um, oh, I have one last drugstore one, so I might as well just go ahead and talk about it. This is the CoverGirl Outlast. Um, these come with... The pigment, and then it comes with like a clear gloss that you put over top of it. I have found that if I don't put the gloss on, that this will get matte and it will stay all day. The gloss kind of makes it wear down faster, probably because it's more of a greasy product. Um, so you're not going to get as much wear out of this. But I'm going to tell you, I have worn this for 10, 12 hours at a time. This was my holy grail liquid lipstick before I really got into makeup and trying different brands and products. So I still go back to this. Um, this is one though that if I want my lipstick to stay on all day, I will use it. Um, and I recently bought this one because I wanted a red. I don't even have the lip top or the gloss anymore. I just throw those out, really. I should, probably shouldn't because it's kind of wasteful. But I'm going to swatch this. This, um, I wanted more of a red. It ended up being more, not so much of a true red, but I still really like it. 
Um, it's nice, it's really nice, and it's really long wearing. So I recommend that product as well. I think these might be though like $10 for the lip kit nowadays. They keep drugstore prices are going up. I'm gonna tell you that. So if you find something inexpensive at the drugstore and it works for you, like these wet and wild ones, keep going back because CoverGirl and Maybelline are really, really raising their prices. Like the Maybelline Gigi Hadid collection is, they have a $30 eyeshadow palette. That's insane to me, but I digress. Okay, so that's all of the drugstore brand um, liquid lips that I have. But like I said, I enjoy all of these. The jury is still out on these four because I just got them last night. I haven't really had gotten to do a wear test with them or anything. But um, again, they're very, very dry and they work more like a lip stain. So um, another gift set I picked up, I picked this up at Ulta and I bought it because I really enjoy this brand, but it was three liquid lips. They are 0 0.05 ounces. So four, the Wet n Wild is four times the amount that's in one of these. Um, it was $20 for three of them, but I will say that they work really nicely. Um, I, I do, I love Stila. Their Magnificent Metals eyeshadow toppers are amazing. The best and most easy way to use glitter. It's like 26 bucks for one of them, but it lasts me like four or five months, and I will repurchase those again and again and again. So, um... You know, some things are worth it, and uh, I'm not sure that this is worth it. I'm wearing this middle shade called Patina on my lips today. It looks darker on than it does in the tube. Actually, I can say that for all of these. They do. But um, I'm going to swatch these for you. This one is the lightest shade. It's called Bocce. It's a very light nude, um, but it does dry down darker, like I said. So this is another one that I'm able to use, even though in the packaging it looks extremely light. Um, the patina, the one I'm wearing today, you can see that it is much, much lighter at first than it looks on the lips. Um, I love that shade it's really nice if i'm just wanting to slap something on my lips really quickly don't want to have to worry about lining my lips and being perfect about it that's a shade that i can really do nicely now it just works out that this is going to be swatched next to those other whiny colors so you can kind of see a comparison and how this wine shade seems to be all the rage so don't be surprised if in print um, magazines and if people on videos are wearing more of this whiny lip shade. I wouldn't be surprised. It's just a guess I have. But um, this one is more on the red shade of the whiny. This one is more um, less red but still more on the red side. This one's more on the brown. So this is kind of like in between the two. But I like it. Um... These are really awesome. They don't transfer, they don't feel overly dry, and I really like them. So, I, yeah, they were 20 bucks. Would I buy, repurchase the Stila gift set over the Wet n Wild gift set? Stila at $20, the Wet n Wild at $7, and it came with three lip liners? No, I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't repurchase the Stila liquid lips, being as I've found some drugstore ones that I really like. Again, unless they came out with just some color that I had to have, and me knowing that the formula works really well, um, I would probably repurchase, or I would probably purchase that, but I would not repurchase three lipsticks this small for $20 again. Wouldn't do it. Um, I'm learning as I go here, like I said. Um, here are two high-end liquid lips that I liked, um, but this first one I would not purchase again. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. It was 24, I think, dollars just for this one. Um, now it does have 0.23 ounces, so it's just a little bit bigger than these Wet n Wild ones, um, but it, it, it is long lasting. Um, I liked the color, okay. 
I'm almost out of it, but I'm not going to repurchase it because I've found drugstore that work just as well. It's so funny that these are lining up. The colors are kind of lining up with one another. But um, as you can see, it's similar to this one and this one and this one. Um, so I just don't really have a need for that shade anymore. Um, because I've found dupes that work just as well. I had, um, this one's in the shade sellout. I had another one that was even more nude and it just didn't work for me. It wiped my lips right out. So I will not be repurchasing that just because I found something cheaper that works just as well. Now, <coughs> excuse me. This is one that I loved. It is so empty. Um, I think it was like maybe even $28. But this was all the rage for like 2016, 2017. Um, it was the go-to nude for so many people because it wasn't too light. It didn't wash your lips out. It stays on forever. It is just a really good product. This, and th like I said, this shade was what everyone wanted. Um, the girl at Sephora recommended it to me. I tried it out and I absolutely loved it. This is a good lipstick. Um, this is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ludwig. You might have heard of it before. I'm literally scraping the tube to get it out. It's such a nice, nice nude shade and um upon first it does dry down a little darker but upon first application it is a little uh light for me but if i put a second coat on then it's really nice i mean this is just your standard nude that everyone wants and it's good and i probably will repurchase this I wore this to work for a long periods of time. It stayed on. It's so nice. It's great for a no makeup makeup look or if you're going for a really vibrant eye and you want to kind of do not so much on the lips. This one works out really great. I can't say enough about it. Again, that's this one. It's just beautiful. So, um, I probably will buy that again. It's insanely expensive, but I really enjoyed that product. So, you decide what you want to do with that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is kind of do a transfer test on these. Just rub my finger over each individual brand, and then we're going to wrap this video up. Um, this one was the Wet n Wild. Now that it's had time to dry down, I'm just going to push my finger straight down the shades. Very little. I mean, very little transfer. It's just, it's so nice. When you do the kiss test on it, it's not kissing off. I promise you that. Um, next, we have the um, Sleek Ones. Nope. Um, this one's the Jordana, the Cinnamon Toast one. I'm going to just try to pull up on it. Little to know. I mean, it's probably just because it hasn't dried down yet. Um, this one down here was the NYX lingerie one. Nope. And this one here was, oh, that was the, okay, that was the sleek. All right, now up here we have the, um, and again, you can really see now that this was not a true red. There's the true red. This was not. This was the CoverGirl one. I'm going to just try to pull up. That's just a spot that hadn't dried yet. Um, these are the Stila ones. Wait, which one was this? I don't remember what. Oh, that was Stila also. Now, I can see that this one is not dried yet. So, I'm not going to rub my hand on it. But this will just show you the formula. That's just a little tiny bit. <clears throat> That one had not dried, but I have the Stila on my lips right now. Like I said, I've had it on pretty much all day. It doesn't kiss off at all. Um, <coughs> and this one was the Too Faced Melted Matte. That's not transferable. It's had less time to dry down. And then lastly, the Kat Von D. That didn't go anywhere and it's had no dry time. So, all of these are pretty much non-transferable liquid lips. They're good. Like I said, these had not had 100% time to dry down. But I highly recommend all of these. Um, 
I'm, the jury's still out on the sleek ones, but the rest of them have all been good. They've said what they were, they've done what they've said they were going to do. I really can't rave enough about the wet and wild ones. Go try them out, test them for yourself, see what you think. Wouldn't repurchase the Too Faced Melted Matte just because of the price point, but they're all really good. I hope you join me for some more videos like these, but they're going to be actually application of the products, not just talking about, um, you know, swatching them and talking about them. I'm actually going to be putting some things on, and I'm going to try to keep these videos short to like 30 minutes or less. I'm not, I don't know how to edit yet. I'm going to try to learn that, but um, in the meantime, I'm going to just focus on like doing one video for the face, one video for the eyes and eyebrows, and so on and so forth, so that way we can keep the times down on them. If you like these videos, um, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, please continue to watch, and um, if you don't like them, don't watch them, that's fine, you don't have to. Hopefully, um, something has helped you today, and if you have any ideas for videos that you'd like for me to shoot, please comment and let me know. Thanks for watching. Um, I will see you all soon. God bless you. I hope you have a great day and I hope your weekend is awesome. See you later.